All right, guys, so we just finished up with the Strata. We're gonna be showing you guys the single family homes here at Nara Hills. We got Wildstar, man, so we got three different plans. Those things are beautiful too. They range anywhere from the, the high 2,000 square foot range up to over 3,000, yep. up to five bedrooms with a loft space. They're starting in the 800,000s. They're very, very beautiful product. Yeah, they also have that, that live gen, live gen, multi-gen type of thing. Yes. So they have that great option. I know those are being sold pretty quick. They are. So. Yeah, man, should we go check it out? Let's do it. All right. All right, we're at Wildstar Plan One today. A little over 2,700 square feet. This home starts in the low 800s. Reyes, tell us a little more about it. Cool, so this home's gonna have four bedrooms. It's gonna have a loft with three and a half bathrooms. And as you'll see, it's very spacious inside. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's check it out. So as you walk in, one of the first things you'll notice is how open this hallway area is. It makes it feel very spacious. Eddie, go ahead and show them around the kitchen. And Man, room. one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is just how big this island is. Yep, that thing's massive. Yeah, like ideally you'd probably have at least a good foot and a half in. That would be your standard kind of island. So this is really big. I love that farmhouse sink in the middle. Plenty of counter space and cabinets. So is this something that's included or is this an upgrade, Reyes? So it's a great question, Eddie. So usually everything that you're looking at in the model home is most likely gonna be an upgrade. Most model homes are gonna have anywhere from $100,000 to $200,000 in upgrades. Everything from the countertops to the light fixtures, even the type of cabinets or knobs that you're going with. But what I really love about this community, I know we mentioned in the other video, but look at how many windows there are in here. You have so much natural light flowing through this area. It's perfect for entertaining, perfect for hosting parties, and perfect for just having some family time. So, Eddie, what do you think? I mean, I definitely love how you'll see right now there's a little bit of a separation so you have your living room area here and i like how the dining table is set off to the side with that extra cabinet space mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah this thing is gorgeous go check that out so i always say um when they got these big tables it takes up a lot of space but that you're able to walk around mm -hmm. you know that you have plenty of space that cabinet work there is awesome mm -hmm. and then i definitely like these big door here i think is this a trifold door yeah, you know, I think it is. And the best part about these right here, oh, that was very open. The best part about these right here is that, there you go. Even with them closed or open, it really just opens everything up to the backyard. So whether you're in the kitchen, your living room, out over here, even though it's sectioned off, you can still feel very connected. So what I feel is that these yards are a little bit smaller than the, the bigger community that we have up yep. there, right? But I, nonetheless, it's still plenty of space. I, I, I mean, to me, ideally, you could probably still get a pool back here in the corner and then still have some room, right? Not gonna have a huge pool, but one thing, let's check this out. I love the, about all these communities, how much windows they have. So we'll check mm -hmm. them out from the inside. But the fact that you have those big open windows, it's gonna allow a lot of sunlight going in. Modern look. Yep. Definitely a modern look. Mm -hmm. Cool, so let's go check out the rest of the house, guys. Cool, one more thing guys, this is one of my favorite features of the home. There's a really good sized pantry over here and then you even have another little half bathroom and some more space for storage on this side. So this home definitely gives you a lot of little hidden features that make a huge Coming difference. Coming at you, Mike. All right, so Ray is and then I believe there is a full bedroom downstairs, right? Correct, yep, down over okay. there. So let's check out the size of it, see if it makes sense. Yeah, still roomy, okay. So I know that's coming in, there is a full bath. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect for, you know, that older teen. Parents are gonna be staying here yep. or just even guests. You have room for them to entertain them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, got a full bathroom down over here. Cool, so let's go ahead and check out the upstairs. All right, so walking up here, man, I really do enjoy the separation. Mm -hmm. I always say I like when a master bedroom is away from the rest of the rooms. And especially when you have a loft and it's, you could tell it's a dedicated loft. Yep, come check this out. So you could tell this is for sure a dedicated loft. Perfect, like I said, if you're entertaining, not everybody has to be downstairs in the living room area, or if you wanna chill up here, watch a movie, watch some sports. And like Eddie said, I mean, just everything from the open stairways, the higher ceilings, all the natural light. I mean, this home is beautiful and really gives you a lot of ideas of what you can do when it comes to new construction. Let's go check out these rooms. 
So right here, nice little open area, right? Kind of breaks everything up for you. We're gonna have laundry, bedroom. You guys can go in there and check it out real quick. And then we'll head over to the uh, master. We'll walk into this one so you guys kind of get the idea of how the restroom is shared. So it's a Jack and Jill here. So there's a full bathroom. Race, lead us into the master bedroom. Cool. Man. Let's go check out the master bedroom, guys. So as you walk in, you can already see the separation. Like Eddie mentioned, you have a large hallway. You have this master bedroom closet right here. You have another closet down on this side. Check out how bright this master bathroom is. So is it master or is it uh, owner suite? Mm, that's a great question, Eddie. It's whatever you want it to be. Dang, <laughs> I like that. Okay, this is roomy in here. The, it's the open windows that always does it for me. So this is a good size, right? You guys are over here, I'm way out here. I always say when you have chairs or a couch here, an ottoman, you know that you have plenty of room. Mm -hmm. And then this shot right behind us, as you can see, this is a perfect example of what new construction looks like. You can see the different phases, where they're at. And so when you're buying new construction, it is gonna take a couple months for the home to be built, but you're gonna be able to check the progress of it every step of the way. You're getting a brand new home, guys. All right, so let us know what you guys think about this house in the comments. Let's go check out the next one. Let's go do it, Eddie. All right, guys, we're here at the Plan 2 at Wildstar and Nara Hills. Check out that modern home, man. It's beautiful, bro. The sleek lines, everything. This house is really probably my favorite plan at Wildstar. It is my favorite plan at Wildstar. I was just about to say that. Give us a little bit of details of what we got here. For sure. So we got four bedrooms, four bath, right under 3,000 square feet. Starts about 850-ish, right in that range. But this home, it's awesome. It has a live-gen suite. So those of you looking to move in the mother-in-laws, yeah. So if you, for you. Yeah. If you guys are looking, like, let's say you guys are in LA County. I know I say this in a lot of videos, but this is an amazing opportunity, right? If not, if this is not here, it's a three-car garage. Yep. So it's let's locked. go check it out. Oh, we gotta go. From, we gotta go from the this way. Good, because I was tired of being out there. Oh, it feels so good in here. So well, let's lead the way. Lead the way, Jeff. Let's go. We're gonna check out the Live Gen Suite. So you guys saw the front door over there. But as you come in the main, the main door here, you're gonna go right to the left. You have a half bath, you have Harry Potter's room, and then you have the live gen suite. And this thing's awesome, man. It's a full bedroom, which is a good sized bedroom. You have a full bath right behind you, as well as a nice little living space and, and a little kitchenette. I don't think it comes with the, the generator here, but yeah, this, this thing is really beautiful, perfect for maybe that, that kid who's in college, um, your mother, you know, the, the grandparents, mother-in-laws, stuff like that, this is perfect. Yeah, or even a young family, right? Let's yeah. say, you know, you got, you saw your home in LA County and you're like, man, I want a place for my young son and his bride and their two-year-old to live. This, this looks like a pretty good dang spot to me. It works. To be in a good area, mm -hmm. so. An upgrade like this, where you're probably going to run another additional, what, 30, 40,000? Probably, yeah. Yeah, right? So 30, 40,000. So now if this, I kept calling it live gen. You said live gen. So I think live gen is it. something gen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's call it a multi-gen, just because we know it well. But <laughs> yes. if not, this would be an office here, right? Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, let's go check out the rest of the house. Let's do it. All right. So now we're talking about space. We, we've seen the, what, what the first one looked like. That one felt like a little tight. It does. It's yeah. a little, little, little tight. And look at this one, Jeff. What this do you think, man? beautiful, man. I love the layout. I love that the kitchen's tucked a little bit. You have a nice little open living space here. Kitchen, I mean, I probably wouldn't even put a table here. Yeah, I feel like this is taking up a lot of space here. I would here. probably leave it open. And, and you do get some decent yard space. It's, it's not like you get no yard. You're, you're getting yeah. a decent lot. Yeah, especially for a new construction home, right? Yeah. They're not going to be like Skyline or Golden Peak that they have here. Uh, but for what we get, for the price, the difference, it's going to be pretty good. Oh, man. yeah, man, for sure. And then you get the 10-foot ceilings. You get really modern amenities. Um, did you touch on the amenities on the community? No, we haven't. Go ahead, oh, Jeff. Oh, man, they, they're going to be awesome. They, they call them resort-like amenities for a reason. It feels like you're on vacation. You're going to have the pool. You're going to have clubhouse all the sports stuff out there. You're gonna have little walking trails and it's all gated. 
So I every community is gated, which is... That's impressive. Yeah, and that's crazy that it's gated, it has all those, and then the HOA is not that crazy. I know. It's you, like 220, yeah. 225? It's not much, yeah. It ranges from about 195 to about 225. Yeah. And if you go right down the street, you're paying 350. That's crazy. It's it's pretty, it's a pretty good, I was shocked. Yeah. I was shocked with the HOAs for sure. So just on that side, we have the, the pantry. We yep. won't be showing you guys the outside because it's just gonna be about the same as the plan one. Yep. So not much difference there. Uh, but we do have this area if you wanna just go take a quick little scan of that. That's where you come in off the garage, your pantry area. And I love that when the garage door is right by my pantry. Oh yeah. Oh, that's perfect. I get home, usually I drop out my bag somewhere, right? Like in oh, the living room. Yeah. I'll just drop them in there and then and then have uh, have our maid uh, clean them up later. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we don't have a maid. Uh, I shouldn't say that because then my wife sees it, she's like, are you calling me a maid? No, wife. You're, yeah, you're gonna get <laughs> I said, that. No, wife. <laughs> I'm not calling you a maid. Yeah, so you do get the nice little loft space. It's nothing crazy, right? Like it, it's a good sized loft. Yeah. So for this loft, I think obviously we're gonna be going to see plan three next. Yeah. That loft's a lot bigger. It is. Yeah. That, that plan's a lot bigger. <laughs> it is a lot bigger. I kind of do like the inside of this one. For sure. Yeah, so yeah guys, really good space up here. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong with the loft, man. Never, and I, I love that the bedrooms are tucked away. Yeah. You don't see them immediately once you come up the stairs. So you do have some privacy. This is a master. This is the master, you wanna see that one? Let's do it. Let's go. We're here. Go ahead, Jeff, you're yeah. either way. I'm gonna take a little break this right thing, here. This thing's beautiful. And one thing that I always like to point out is all the windows that Land C puts in their homes. You get a lot of natural light. You don't even need to upgrade your electrical. You get a ton of open windows, open space. It's, it's beautiful. Let's check out the master bath. Same thing, multiple windows. There's like four windows in the bathroom. I'm gonna be standing here shaving, waving to my neighbor across the way. But this is a really, really good space too. I love the separation. I like when my sinks are separate from, from my actual shower and bath. Yeah, I got a good uh, walk-in closet. Yeah. This is gonna be an upgrade here, right? You know, usually you'll get the standard shower. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, so one, thing, one, one thing to consider, guys, I know we're doing the difference between Wildstar, you know, we have Strata, we have Golden Peak, Skyline, and all that. Yeah. Now, one of the things with these is yeah, they are a little bit closer together. So one option is, hey, are you able to afford a little bit more to maybe go up to that Skyland or Golden Peak? Because uh, those are going to be super separate, man. Those are, yeah, those have a lot yeah. more separation, so, a lot more space. We're going to have a video where you can also check out Skyland and Golden Peak. So we're going to link it here so you can check it out. We're going to have like six, seven different videos for this community. It's crazy. We already have two <laughs> and we're doing another five today. So that kind of gives you an idea. Let's go check out the, the, the rest of the rooms. So the really cool thing is this bedroom does come with the full bath. That's, that's something, you know, you don't see it in all the plans and it does take a little from the room. You know, the room is a little bit smaller with that bath, but it, you know, it's, it's still a good size room. You could fit your bed in here, desk, computer. I mean, honestly, what else do you need in your room? Yeah, I, you know. and then we got, this, we got the shared restroom right right here, yes. which is gonna be for these two bedrooms here. So pretty good size bedrooms. I mean, these are gonna be what you typically see in a, like a traditional house. This is more like a 10 by 10. Uh, that one might be more like a 12 by 10 on yeah. the other side. Yep. But they're still, yeah, still decent, decent bedrooms. And again, the windows, a ton of natural light. If we shut these lights off, you wouldn't even make a difference. Good. Yeah. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be going to check out plan three. Come with us. All right, guys, we're at Wildstar Model 3. This is starting in the mid 800s, a yes. little over 3,000 square feet. Jeff, tell us a little more about it. This thing's beautiful, five bedrooms. So if you're looking for that five bedroom option, this got it. Four and a half bath with a loft. So you don't even have to sacrifice your loft for that fifth bedroom, which is really impressive. It's already there. Let's go take a look. I love this entry. <laughs> I, was about I to love say the same it. thing. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Let's come on in. <laughs> this this whole entry is beautiful. You know what I'm liking too is it's still an open floor plan, but you get a little of that separation. I like how they're doing this to the side. Yes. This over here, so it does give you like what belongs where. Yeah. But it's still an open floor plan. Yeah, and it feels it feels nice. It feels roomy. You're not. Cluster, like that, don't get me wrong, the strata plans are great. 
But so, the first couple models, you go in there and you feel how tight it is. You feel it. You feel right it. Yeah, here, let's be honest. It's so much more open. It feels like a house. It feels 100%. like an actual house. Yeah. I love this one. Over here, you do what have the garage, here? the walk-in pantry. Okay. This is this. It's a great model. So one thing I do notice is that we have a, a entrance here, door entrance here, yes. and then there we have the uh, double sliding doors. So and this yeah. is a single sliding door. So that's really going to give you that outdoor indoor feel, right? If you have everything over. And and something to remember is these lots all do vary. This okay. one's going to be a corner lot, so you get a lot more lot space. There was a home that they sold right over here that had a 45 foot backyard. Wow. So you it's not all going to be this small. There are options for bigger backyards, more space if that's what you need, but Remember, it does cost. But even then, right, this corner lock, this pie shape, you can yeah. definitely put a whole entire pool over here. This still looks have great. this whole area. Yeah, so it's a ton of space. Lot premiums are a thing here as well? Yeah, okay. yep, just like with most communities. Okay. Of course, it always varies. You never really know until the phase is released. But yeah, you do get some different size and lots. And then you know what? I, I, I get clients that tell me they don't want a big backyard. They said, I just want enough room for my Traeger or a little barbecue, a few friends to come over. So now these builders are fitting the needs of everybody. They are. They're, they're listening to that and that's exactly what they're doing. All right, let's go check up the stairs. Let's do it. He's there. Yeah, I love this. The really tall ceilings. For sure. It's, it's a beautiful entryway. You do have your bedroom and bath down here. You actually have two bathrooms. So the room comes with its own bathroom and then you have the half bath okay, here. Okay, so it's a full bath? It's a full bath in that room, yeah. So you could really do anything with it. It's great for the parents. Like I said, you know, the older teen. You, you can have somebody live down here, it's perfect. You know what I think? I can, um, I can kind of see this even being a gym. Yeah. Like That'd a little, be workout, perfect for little a workout area. For Shower sure. right in there after. Yeah. Let's go take a look upstairs. I'm gonna walk real slow. So the, the one thing I'm not a big fan of is how narrow this is. Like okay. Right? Like we're both walking, we're gonna have to do a little, Together. little shuffle yeah. through. That's but I I do spot. like that it's like a hallway going down I though. Do like that. Yeah, you're right. Maybe if it was like one more foot, maybe Just to two fit more a couple feet. people, you know, yeah. I could see my kids wrestling right here, throwing each other over the edge. Like, <laughs> It could get real. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> Laundry's in a good location there. Yeah. Do your laundry and then you can bring it over here, fold it. And the loft is a good size loft. It's no, a, it it's is. It's a ton of open space. This and is a huge couch. I love that you don't have to sacrifice the loft for that fifth bedroom. It just comes standard. So it's full, yeah, it's uh, full five, five bedrooms. Bedroom. Okay, yeah. got it. So realistically, you could eventually turn this into a six bedroom. Yeah, you could. It wouldn't be that hard to close it off. Not at all. Here's the separation we talk about. You have your rooms over yeah. here. The Jack and Jill bathroom. Make sure, I know my new construction guys. Got the Jack and Jill bathroom here. I love it. Hey Eddie. How's it going? And then look how big hey, the room actually, is. Hey, actually this is really roomy. You got two full size beds yeah, in here. Yeah, it's a big room, man. So two, uh, yeah, two fulls. Yeah, there's pl plenty of space. Yeah, for sure. Let's go over to the master. I just, every time I come into the masters, I love, I'm gonna say it a hundred times, the natural light. I love and all, all of the these, windows. All these communities. beautiful it yeah. is. They really did a great job with that. That's something people love. Real like big oversized windows. So a lot of other mm -hmm. builders, it's like, you know, figure uh, maybe a foot or two in on each side. Yeah. Those are their big windows, mm -hmm. right? Where these are a lot larger. These are huge, yeah, for sure. And right here to the left. I don't know, man, to be honest, this is a little tight. This is kind of small, kind of like the narrow uh, hallway over there. Yeah, they, they like narrow spaces. No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's still a beautiful bathroom. It, it is. It is just a little bit tighter for sure. I, that's why I do like that plan too. I feel like the layout, yeah. the floor plan of it makes so much more sense. And hey, everything sort of separated a for little sure. more. And guys, we're giving you honest opinions. So yeah. some of the other ones are better. This one's still nice. Yeah. Uh, I guess if you're going to get the full five bedrooms, you kind of have to take up some space somewhere, right? Yeah. So that's what's happening in some of these different areas. Yeah, and you still get a really nice size closet as well. These, home, these homes are nice. All right, guys, so we just showed you all three models here at Wildstar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I was freaking out. I was like Skyland, Golden Peak. We're There's here. a lot of them. Yeah, there is a lot of them. So guys, if you guys are interested in checking one of these out, there's gonna be a link 
in our bio to schedule a 15 minute call. What are we gonna do with that on that 15 minute call, Jeff? We're gonna go over everything there is to know about buying a new construction home. We're gonna to touch on your finances, your debt. We go through the entire process. You're gonna leave that call knowing more than most realtors know about new construction homes. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, don't forget, Jeff's making me look really small right now. I'm not that small. They're like that short, big, stocky guy. <laughs> May not be, they say, they say fat hide. It's okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, if you guys can like, we subscribe to this channel. We work really hard for this, guys, and please share this with somebody. So Cal, so Daniel, out. Let's go.